towards high ground. They run into everybody. They do have an egg. No, the chase forward. Spearbreaker going to go down. Oh, S4. He's thinking about it. Oh, he wants it. Jump forward. Black hole on the four. They caught him all. The sun ran top of it, but they're able to break that one. The supernova follow-up. Everybody's gone. Triple kill for Sumail. Easy peasy as they all go down. GG. Man, what a freaking exclamation mark. That's how you end a game of Dota 2, right there. S4 absolutely styles <laughs> on the remains of the hopes for a mixed game. GG's waiting on top of this high ground here. Zai's gonna jump in Roll onto Sumail. actually lands onto the SF. He pops his BKB, picks up the bounty rune. S4 in the back line, look at that Dream Coil. Locking down the four of them. There's gonna be the BKB activated, but they're wasting so much time trying to oh, kill S4. The People are just controlling up everybody right now. Yaps are the last shot into the high ground. He's gonna be able to find him for the ultra kill. He wants it. Mail. And now the silence slow down onto mid one, who no longer has his BKB. What a setup from S4 with just a beautiful initiation. So it gives him a lot of opportunity to help someone like Arteezy who's stuck inside. Especially because, man, Arteezy didn't have buyback when he got Roche, but that's pretty insane. That, that would have been, like, Roche and everything to RNG, and poof. Just, uh, he knew he was too tanky. Yeah, didn't worry about it. Oh, there we come in. Three heroes. Jump back on the other side. Monet able to find them all, but it's not of damage. They got the borrowed time off. Look at all the heals. They're not doing anything to him at all, but the Sonic Wave isn't enough. No, Sumail eats the cheese, and Monet is going to go down. Hex to the boat. Throw them on down as well, and Dude. they find themselves another. I have flamed this Aghanim so many times and said, unless it was the perfect game, it is so useless. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the absolutely perfect scenario. They chrono everyone but the ABBA. And oh, just gives him the information. The balls are down. DY is ready for the jump. And here she comes in. They go. Yak gets the master up and wars down. Roshan, Agassi Mono was snatched by Samail. That means the kill goes away the dire side. But OD dying to the northern side. They do bring him down. But the other attack is on to Beastmaster. The team fight control is gone for VG Gaming. He's dead for so long. And they need the kill on to Dazzle. The BKB will protect him long enough to complete the TP away to safety. But it won't be enough for DY. Spun up in the air. Oh. He actually picked up the refresher shot. The Here's snowball the comes over towards our team. Can he even what? get the kill? No, nope. push away. Snowball back in. Arteezy protected in the bubble. And down goes the Tusker. Two heroes oh. dead for a minute and a half. What a play. I mean, the pause on this kid, DY. One of the newer players in the scene pops the refresher to try and finish off Arteezy. Instead of making what now in hindsight looks like the better play of just handing it over to his Terror Blade. Even though the Earth Spirit stun is only level two, it's it's enough for Sumail oh. to S4. stun. Here's your combination. Sep will get the first stun off. And maybe not the greatest of chaining against this S4 Enchantress. They're trying to find the damage. No doubt has to go into the overgrowth. Put the quick silence out, but Sumail's already arrived from a long way down. He's able to get the stun. I don't There's get no it. movement back from Seb. I don't get it. Why didn't they just hit him? Good question. Hey, maybe he's untouchable. It's easy we're enjoying this. Like, you do still have the Shrine available. There's an Observer and Sentry Ward watching the TP in. But if Arteezy can keep the pressure on the Tier 2 tower on bottom lane, it does exactly this. Force a hero to come down and deal with it. It's going to be Ari. All right. Mind on mind. Oh, wow, that she bounced on him mid. Magnus really caught out, feared, and they need to actually kill him off before the RP can happen. They're able to do so. X marks his spot. This one's going to catch out flying. Remember, he's still pretty damn tanky. 1500 HP they'll have to get through, but they have enough. One for one trade off, and Magnus does buy back. Pretty tanky. <laughs> <laughs> Seems honestly, so probably good for Infamous. That's a lot of time Arteezy's not farming, too. Yeah, but it's big for EG as well, though, because they're also ensuring that there's no other move being made in the middle area of the map by Infamous, and they need time. Like, oh, oh my goodness, the Ravage from afar. He throws out the Anchor Smash. Oh, oh my goodness, he pops the PKB and dies instantly. They don't even get the tower yet. Chris Luck, he's getting over the TV, and it looks like he will make it. No one else is here, and that look at sick. their ping. That was a Ravage from... That was actually sick. That's why you need a four-step, Kyle. Yeah. Would you have got out of that, you think? Is that, is that, is that even the way I want to say that? I mean, we were actually debating as well, like if this is one of those games where Tinker actually builds into an Aghanim Scepter, you get that missed chance to allow the track. Oh, he forced forward. Survive ability is, um, yep, S4. Now we'll phase boot away. Does uh, show the four stuff of ASD. Radiance middle tower is under gonna attack. look to do something here. You have a Darkseer hasting himself forwards. They're looking for S4, but like he's got four heroes chasing him. Avalanche will connect. He's got a hook shot available. They need to get in front of him, or else he'll just hook shot away to safety, or he can just cog on the high ground. But the back pulls him back down again. Now S4's cogs block him in, but the hook shot exactly as we were saying. S4 goes up and away. It the sentry. Uh, they go looks back like to the it's high a little bit outside of it. No, there's no. Oh, they just dropped the second one. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> 
Oh, that was a, a deep grab there. And yeah. I pay for it. Yeah, there's the jump in, the kill. They do relocate in with two and the BKB out. S4 trying to hide away and shadow him with for victory. Is still taking a lot of damage from the Ion Spirits. He's relocating back out in three seconds. I don't know if they're going to be able to kill him in time. Oh, the toss away S4 running. Aggressive is left on an island. What's he oh, doing? Boy. The jump away S4 makes it happen, but with the blade mode, it's not quite enough. They're going to kill off Arteezy one time. Can they get him again? Sunstrike going out and they managed to find him. So Mail predicts no way to take down this bristle and then there's fly around literally just absolutely becomes impossible boxy again on that bottom lane takes down the tier two uh, we've seen this haven't we i i it, it was here this oh they're almost on spot again go on boxy teleport away now the yules have the yules but he's a bit slower yes with and it the now. blood right is there this time boxy oh no s4 found the solution bring more friends meanwhile they actually that's a dieback they found crit they separated them and worked out perfectly the move made by alliance now the saw by and lick and fly together with bristle back and now they'll try and get rid of fly first pop the bar at time Sumel now the focus for them surrounded no reinforcements coming in to help him s4 there's the epicenter the bar strike through they're gonna turn around they get the kill to rave king Mike still alive and forced to be reckoned with but needs to back away at least tight behind the magnetized will claim no heads and s4 with the save comes in just in time Miki over the s4 wanting that plus one and they're actually oh. grouped up together Sai, he's got to be so careful if s4 knows he jumps forward ravage gonna connect on the three of them the follow-up coming through there's no black hole in this fight can they get mid one afterwards you will scepter to interrupt puppy going to try and play interference but oh big win for eg yeah and a good steal for crit too he gets the level four crystal nova with oh. three points in Arcane Supremacy, that thing hits hard. Ryle. 1630 gold saved up, so he is getting there. Wonder if EG's gonna try to make a play on him in the near future to slow that down. Bottom, Max. Easy for me as well. There's a recall in, and as for the Frost Show comes out, though, he's got the call up already, and they get the kill on Mu. They're gonna go for the kill on Milana. Easily taken out. You mentioned Arteezy's here showing up. Double kill for crit. That's why they're hesitant to do anything about it. Free Blink Dagger, skewering back into your own team. <laughs> oh, magical. Gonna move away with the Chemical Ray. Just give that Dispel to get out of the Atos. Still taking these damage. Vibe Strike's gonna be on the side. Crystallize being kited out. Magical down to half HP already. Stun on the spot. Charging up the stun right now. The Battle Trance just in time. Patrol really low on HP. Shaman. Hex is not looking to be way off. He connects on the two, but now the Ravage. No, he was free to go. And S4 locks him on the spot. The Horde's going to be used. And now Buyback's coming out for the troll and the Magnus as well. But no, they have lost Magical. And with GG comes out. EG in dominant fashion. To the off lane to because he didn't one. want to be in these 2v2 shenanigans. Yep. And mid's kind of back to that point. They get all four bounty runes. That's like... It's like, a lot of gold. It's like 1,500 Oh, S4 for with the RP on two as they got Shackle shot on Alchemist, but he just stands there for a couple of seconds and the unstable concoction with the pull into the ear splitter. Gets the both come and do some meanwhile picked off as well. They'll focus our... for the easier kill onto the Vengeful first as Fly will fall. Roger, set up with that Yule Scepter onto S4. As S4 dusted up. S4, can he get out of this one? It doesn't look like it. Another Yule's throwing him in the air, holding him in place. The Fear sends him back. In fact, that Fear nearly sort of saves him. He's still alive. In fact, it may just do. He's going to get out of there. S4, he'll be able to run away. Pipe doing work. Clutch force that from the Pango tool. These fights are not good, good for EG. They actually did. Why first? Yep. This is just the power of the draft. We'll have another quick look. S4 on the run. No one just willingly tanking so many hits from the towers. And it's just the conversion attack. Flies after him, kills him off. We can come back to the world oh. alive, and that's with Winter Wyvern getting dived down. They were hunting him for a while, but the Brumar splits already been committed. Juggernaut has no escape from this, unless the Mal wants to help him out. He's already been pulled back in again. And then they move toward... Feel the axe of axe! 